Handstand drill number one. Have your students stand like this. So I want you to stand next to me, sir. Right here. I want you to squeeze your butt cheek so you're super straight up and down and tall, right? Nice straight. Now what I want you to do is from your ankles, I want you to slowly tilt forward like you're a statue, but not a lot, just a little bit. You feel how all the weight goes into your toes? Mm -hmm. This is the same way that we're gonna handstand. Imagine that your feet are your hands and the rest of your body is this nice straight line. What happens if you relax your butt right now? Your body starts to fall forward and you're gonna tilt. Most people get into their handstand and they don't squeeze their butt. So their upper body and lower body are disconnected and that's why they can't keep their balance. So we gotta make sure that this is a good drill to make them just stand there, lean forward, push back with the toes. I'm leaning forward, I'm pushing back with the toes and I'm gonna do the same thing in a handstand in order to keep my balance. Now, one of uh, the best drills you can do is a wall drill and almost everybody 95% of people do this completely backwards and it is a utter waste of time. So, Safadu, do me a favor. I want you to kick up into a handstand with your back against the wall. Wow, you are, all right, you're gonna put your hands right there or you're gonna get a little closer? All right, you got this. Kick up into a handstand. Almost everybody does this, right? Because it's comfortable. If he falls, he falls to his feet. He's nice and safe. But notice, his back is arching out and there's no weight over his fingertips. This will not do you any good. This will only be detrimental to your handstands. Instead, what we're gonna do, I'm gonna demonstrate and then I'm gonna have you try and I'm gonna show how to spot it. Instead, we're gonna use our spider walk handstand. Now for this move, if your student knows how to cartwheel, they can save themselves. If they don't know how to cartwheel yet, then you need to be there to spot them. And what we're gonna do is this. Put our hands down, spider walk our feet up, and I walk my hands in until I'm about a foot or a little less away from the wall. Now you'll notice, I'm trying to create a straight line from my hands all the way up through my body. I'm squeezing my butt. What I'm gonna do now is slowly let one foot move away from the wall. Notice, I'm not arching my leg like this and keeping my hips to the wall. That won't do me any good. I am trying to bring body weight away from the wall and onto my fingertips. Now right here, I'm starting to get all my weight onto my fingertips and that's allowing my other foot to come off the wall just a little bit, so I'm actually practicing the balance. The scary part for people is they're afraid to fall on their back. So if you start to tip over, it's just a crappy cartwheel out, all right? If they don't know how to do that, you need to be there with your hands on your hips to help turn them and bring them down. So Savage, I'm gonna have you try. He's gonna walk his feet up, walk his hands in, I'm trying to go for a nice straight body. Oh, try to get your head in between, good. Now I want you to pick one leg and slowly let it come away, very slow. So notice he's starting to arch in his low back. Get rid of that arch, go back to straight. Push up here, good. Now, let this leg slowly come away from the wall. Notice it's starting to pull his toe off the wall. That's what we want, I'm gonna be right here on the hips. So if he starts to go, oh no! We turn him and bring him down. Very simple one is if they can't cartwheel very well, it's just twist and tuck and they bring their feet to the ground. If they're tiny, you just twist and set them down, whatever works best. But this is the drill that's gonna build this strength, which is what is necessary to hold a handstand. Without these muscle groups, which people do not use in this position and squeezing down, this strength right here is what's gonna hold and balance the handstand coupled with good body position. This drill, all you need for a handstand. Once you have this, just working on your lunge to teeter-totter so you hit this position and balance it yourself.